That's a good hobby. them with this rig. Oh, tell you what though, they start feeding. I'm going for them. There's one there, 20 pound. start boiling up mud I'm going to get you one of them for sure they're big oh, I'm going to move down a bit Not a bad fish, not big. You wanted that though, see him down there. Puppy. Nice. Not big, big, but uh, the way he hit it tells me that they're all under there. That wasn't even in the, uh, in the shadows. I've got to do something because of. Uh, maybe I can't. Bear with me, guys. You can't put cover photos on anymore. So I've got to take a picture. I'm going to get it under 2k, whatever that means. Two something, megabyte, whatever. And uh, then put that on. I don't know if you noticed, but it's big one of the biggest cities in Australia and there's no one here. Just me and a river full of bass. I'll get more over into that shadow. He drew well off the shadow, but I don't want to really, like, I Brim bass everything, I like to feed into them. So if there's more fish there, before I go there, I'll have a couple more onto that shadow line. I don't know if that was a tap. When I don't get nothing this cast, then I'll work my way in. He just he was pretty toey that bass, so. And the best thing was that it hit it out in the sun, so. Might mean there could be bass all through here, or they could all be bunched up on that bridge. Going a little bit more into the shadow. Sorry about the wind, guys. Oh, one more. One more be nice. I don't know if camera will pick that up there. But there's a pipe. You can see all the holes in it. Yeah, a lot better for it school of bass to hide in than a pipe. We got one, so we know that... In, in a way, if I don't get another bite, it's a good thing, because it means that the bass is spread out. To me, anyway. But I know I'll get more. Now, get in here and you can hear me better. That wind got it. I'll go on the other side of the bridging that way and cast through the shadow. 
Hmm. Advantage now, maybe. Mm. Oh, whack! That was a good fish. Oh. Smart move going this way. The wind's blowing that way. But the current's going this way. So they're all hunting with the current, I presume. See if I can get in this time. Good hit. So we know there's more than one under there. Oh, whack. That was a little hit. Ah. The light of fire up. Or um, I'll have to switch lures one or the other. That was only small fish, that one. The one before felt pretty good. Okay, so we've drawn two fish, no hook up. But this time we've got two R. So I won't be switching just yet. Seems like they're down deeper. I'm running over the top of this pipe here. This could normally be explosive, but they're not, they're down deeper. Okay. Try more of an angle out here. Deeper part of that channel. We're really going to be on the other side, I think. That's what we're going to end up doing. Going over that side, and then I'll get a better angle again with the wind. You can see how my line curls when the wind grabs it out in the middle. Plus, they might be just... Oh, tap. That's where they are. I found them. Oh, in again. I'm going to wind right out quick. Too quick. Way too quick. Which means that they'll turn around and go straight back to where they were. There. Got a live music today too. Right. There. I'll go look for some and I'll come back with a switch that'll get these little buggers. We'll get them on this eventually, but I mean, I've had about five strikes, so they're just, to me, that means they're just mashing at it. Aggressive, like, get out of my face. So we need to put something down there that they're gonna attack. I love about urban fishing is all the live music. See, they're lashing out all the way up to there. Oh no, that's a leaf. Oh, lift up and down, made him go. There's a school of them there and I can't get them. Oh well. Try one more. I'm gonna give them a break and I'll come back. Oh, I just can't hang in on. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, and is there an angle I haven't tried yet? I know they're in that corner. I'll go across here first. There might be some more in there up the back here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So perseveration, hey, perseveration. I don't know. I can't speak. Anyway, I've got myself a bass. Here might be another one, not real big, but I don't care. I've got some sort of African live music playing in the unit, like someone just singing in the background. I'm looking up at all these buildings, look at this. And then look at that. Hey, you gotta love it. You have to love it. Fat little fellas. There he is, look, little dorsal fins, fin rot, sores. That's just the water quality that they live in. Not much we can do about that. Let's see how many's there with him. So we know there's fish in the middle. Oops. And we uh, know there's fish on the edge. So let's have a look. I mean, I might have fired up those guys over there, so if I cast back that way. Ooh. Whacked. Something that will follow. Cast back over here to see my luck and see if I can draw that one I keep missing. <laughs> yeah, I knew they weren't big, but it's a, it's a pride and a skill from me. I'm trying to trick him into taking an artificial lure, you know, you know the saying. Doubt not, sir, but angling is an art, and an art worth learning. The question is, Am I able to learn the art? That's the question I ask myself all the time. It's not about being... I got a comment the other day where some guy said, oh, I catch more fish than you. It's not about that, mate. It's about being the complete angler. Just realized when I just walk up the stairs and then I'm on the other side. in here if I'm walking in public past people. 